Hello, everybody. We're back with the art review. I'm Daniel Landman. I'm Yule Lennon. And I'm Alex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was good. Okay. So, which painting are we talking about today? Oh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's start with you over there. You. With, with me or with the, Alex? Uh, you. Alex, let's Mark let's go. Tennant? No, let's start with the, the black square. <laughs> the black okay. square. Oh. Okay. So I'm wearing black today for a number of reasons. The black square. We're going to be talking about the black square today. Painted by Kazimir Malevich, who's a Russian artist, in 1915. Okay. And we're using the Nigel scale to discuss uh, uh. the merits of this piece of artwork. Um, we saw it, so I'll look over there now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should put it at the back there. <laughs> and I agree, what's over there? <laughs> hey, Nigel. <laughs> Hi, Nigel. So we're going to open it up with a skill, right? Yes, yeah. Or should we do like first impressions, or like, you know, before we jump into grading it? Then maybe let's talk about like, All right. how, how does it make us feel? Well, it's, it's, it's been a very well recognized, uh, to me, it's one of the iconic um, artworks of the last century, because uh, they say it's kind of zeroed uh, painting or was a, a, a zero point of painting. So what do you guys think? I would have to look at it really in person to like um, get more of an impression than I would like from an image on a uh, like a phone or anything like that and into the texture of it. But I, I could see how it would um, like be viewed on a wall and how it would be weighted to a wall. Like you could contemplate it for quite a while. It would probably look really well in um, an interior, like interior design concept. And very dark interior. <laughs> well, I think it depends. No, it could be it, light. It, it, it could be on like a white, white wall. wall. It's going to be like this black spot. It's but, big black spot. Yeah, there. but you you know you're gonna have other elements in uh, an interior design that would complement it, so that you have other other objects. Other yeah. black other black squares. <laughs> no, you know, you can have all four. There are four versions. Black. Yeah. <laughs> There's also white square. Yeah, yeah. Mm. it'd be very nice. Mix and match. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say first impressions. Like if I have never seen um, something like it before, I would be it's very simple. Um, it just seems to be too much to it it's a it's a black square <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah i mean that's uh without the historical context uh, i wouldn't I, I would say it's very like something that it, something that we can we take for granted now the yeah black squaredness yeah. yeah or just yeah like like i said it's like whenever you encounter something very simple then you're like okay i guess it's a, it's a black square like, well, I, I think it's up. It's always been up for debate, like with the play uh, White on White. It's kind of a similar thing where they're spending a million dollars on this painting that's just white. And it's like they're all intellectualizing it and like, you know. Well, I think you can intellect intellectualize everything. You yeah. Know? <laughs> if you so want it. It's a very parallel yeah. story. Okay, well, let's, I guess, start grading this, um, this painting. Yeah. So uh, the first of the Nigel Scales, um, what do you call it? Skill. Uh, skill, yes, yeah, skill. Skill is very, skill. Um, is number one. So uh, out um, of uh, how many points are we giving? How, uh, out ten. Of, out of ten, ten points? Yeah. One out of okay. ten. Huh? One out of ten points. Uh, am I going first? Yeah, you're going yeah, first. Well, yeah. you, you, brought this, <laughs> you brought this to the table. You are going to... Okay, I'm, go I'm going to give uh, two. Two. Oh, wow. okay. you, ha you have to apply paint in the square. <laughs> align you it. You have to be able to, you know, like, tape a, tape a line. Yes, or tape a line, paint line. Yeah, yes, paint, yeah. yeah. So open I think the that's, black paint. Yeah, open the black paint. <laughs> um, it, it's hard to say because it's like... Uh, this person, do you judge it by the time in which it took or the amount of years it took him to paint it? No, well, I mean, just skill. Skill, skill. like crafting skill. an item. Like if you're crafting this one item. I'd give it a three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're well, going to give I mean, it a one, <laughs> and then we're going to argue about which one. <laughs> well, it's... um. 
I know because I know when you look at a painting like up close, you can see all these brush strokes, right? Like a different. I don't know if he like made a a turmoil, yeah. or he was like very straight in each individual stroke. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I would have to look at it in person. You have to. to that's to one thing. That up on. There's loads of cracks but, um, in it now. Yeah, I, I like. I cra- saw I like one. the cracks. You like the cracks. Yeah. I don't think cracks were designed originally no, or that, meant yeah. to be there. It's kind of like a new thing. It's even better now. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to restore it, and I believe like spending a lot of money trying to match mm. the paint oh. and like make sure it was the same consistency. So it's actually a yeah. serious yeah. point yeah. for conservationists. They take that stuff seriously, I guess. Um, so. so what are we saying? If my objective was to go out and paint a black square, I think he did it um, well. So a, fi- a five. Oh, a five? five. Wow. He did it, he did it well. Yeah. Okay. That's an excellent, it's a mighty fine black square. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do we have to agree yeah, on that? Yeah, we kind on of on disagree on a number here. All right, so we got a two, think? a three, and a five. Yeah. Five, yeah. So, so we'll have to agree on a three, really. We have to meet like halfway. Somewhere. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. 2.75. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just stick to whole numbers. Yeah. Let's just, yeah. We'll let's find let's that three. Helpful. We'll go with yours. Three? Yeah. We're going with three, three. and yeah. the month okay. in the middle. All right. All right. Yeah. I, I, I can agree with that. Are you sure? Out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like thinking one to five. I don't think but. it's gonna. <laughs> no, but because I mean, he set out to paint a black square, or not? Like he said, multiple no, other no, no, paintings. No, was, yeah. Yeah. He executed. No, it. no, Actually, no. He says he, he, had, he, he set paint... out to paint something else, right? And then no, eventually he, he there was to... another painting, and he reused the canvas. Okay. I think they said they found some writing on it. No, there was no, no writing. There's just another there another painting underneath it. Painting. Okay, there was some writing on it. Um, <clears throat> so. Three? Let's yes, go with three. three. Okay, all We're right. That's all you get. Uh, three. <laughs> and the next category would be innovation. How do innovative. we think the innovation? I think at the time it was quite innovative. I think, yeah, that's right. Right Apparently, now it doesn't yeah. feel like innovative, but that's at what the they time. Say. So the suprematists were just a new movement, and no one, no one did a black square before. A white square? Yeah. A red square? <laughs> I, think, I think it takes uh, a lot of cojones to do that um, and put that out there. I, I'd probably give it more of a, let's say eight. eight. We'll give it an wow. eight innovation. for innovation. Oh, man. That's I, I'd say eight, too. Eight, yeah. Well, it's kind of hard for me um, because I, it says apparently it took uh, during the First World War One, right? Um, that, that's yeah. what he painted it um, and then if artists kind of react to what's going on around them at all times mm-hmm. yeah and it's just like pre-revolution Russia yeah, it's crisis it says he was kind of reacting to that like um, so I don't know how like if he was just saying like screw everything because everything kind of led us to war and mm-hmm. so I'm just going to go out there I'm going to invent something new because let's disregard everything that artists have done up until now and um so I don't know if that's much as innovating as much as just kind of like giving the finger to. Or a response. Yeah, so it's kind of like, like yeah. a five. But it's <laughs> five. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I can't decide. Is it, is it, what, was it like reactionary just out of uh, spite or something? Or, but I think it all or like a reactionary. moment of genius. Like, oh, like, <clears throat> like what really leads well, you to... Yeah, it's all commentary in some ways of the times, you know. So picking that unique commentary that um, everyone can relate to is takes a certain innovation. To it does. It and a certain yeah, so I'm not gusto saying that. to like put it out there because it is like, as you said, zero point painting. So it's like, I think it takes a lot of courage to do something like that. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, I, I'm I'm willing to be flexible on my innovation. You know, I think it was. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm willing to meet you somewhere Soon in the middle, of, uh, eight and five. Okay. I'll come. Okay, so what what's the middle between eight and five? Seven. <laughs> okay, let's go for seven then. <laughs> I don't know. It's he like I said, it's kind of hard for me. Like it's it's hard to. Um, to precisely then, give it but, a number. But then isn't it that what makes the best artist is that being able to communicate what was happening at the time? 
Do, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. Renaissance painters took these ideas, like scientific new ideas, and then implemented it into art. And that's what the, like the big... Um, oh, I uh, see. Okay, if you say the you implementation know? of perspective, then I'm like, all right, that's like, it's uh, <laughs> very innovative. <laughs> yeah. But then you're like, okay, so I'm going to simplify painting. But then to, look, look how many abstract uh, artists followed. You know, like all the there Rothko other, like, and the, all the so ab- caused, abstract. Uh, mm-hmm. More innovation. No, I think there were other like abstract artists. Like I think he just, I read somewhere he that just he ran just ran out of paint, out no. of color paint. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wanted to uh, feel free of the weight of reality or something like that. Mm. Yeah. He's just like, it's, um, I guess if you're during a war and all you hear about, it, it's like destruction and then maybe mm. reality is too, too heavy for you and then you kind of want to. How do you Lighten express up that? by, yeah. <laughs> by painting no, a square. square. <laughs> black. Exactly. Okay. So okay. So Picasso had the reaction to the war by getting <laughs> right. That mm-hmm. was okay. That's it's a little more innovative mm-hmm. than you know. I'm just, I'm just gonna simplify everything. And um, so that's why I give it a five. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go with seven. seven. Yeah. seven. Okay. Okay. Right. seven. So okay. the next <clears> ones <throat> would be IP. Communication. You're missing a point. Oh, communications. You're skipping <laughs> a point. Communication. How well does it communicate? I think it communicates well the the, the state of affairs at the time, mm-hmm. because, like you said, there's like there's war. There's the Russian Revolution is coming. There's uh, there's a lot of turmoil. Um, so to me, it does to me it does communicate like the darkest part of life that you could possibly dive into. And um, that's to me what it communicates. So it communicates with me, to me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. So on that basis, I would give it maybe a six or seven because it communicates like the darkness, but it doesn't it doesn't go any further than that, if it makes sense. It doesn't make me think of anything and kind of come up with an idea or, you know, it doesn't develop me or, I don't know, it's just fairly flat. Piece yeah. of black. You know what it reminds me of? Because um, there's a theory that to represent symbolically the unconscious is like the ocean represents the subconscious, like the deepest part. It's mm-hmm. like, and it's just black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess as a painting, if it's just like a black thing. Like You're looking into the subconscious and also the subconscious, uh, so- social unconscious of what's going on in the time too. You're tapping into that as well. Um, it, I don't I don't know if it's maybe this is a question it's like do we now as artists in, a, in our times over intellectualize things when we look at them and try to put these meanings and words to maybe something that was just a feeling which doesn't necessarily come from a place of um, having words so Looking at that, maybe uh, you're just uh, come meant to come up with that feeling, to feel that, and to look into that um, the shadow aspect of um, uh, human um, condition. This was very. <laughs> so, uh, I, yeah, there's something to think about, I guess. Um, I don't actually. I think we're kind of we back in the day. They used to intellectualize more. Because yeah. they didn't have all the distractions. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so if anything, like back in the day, they, they were right. Whole manifesto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he did actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did. Wow. The whole exhibition was kind of like a like a statement. Mm-hmm. And then um, so, so I think he thought about it a lot. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll stick with an eight as eight. well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're eight. very consistent. It, it communicates. <laughs> yeah. It commu- I, I can feel. I can feel it. You know. So. I'm what did I say? Ahead. Did I say six? I think I said six. I can't remember. Yeah. I'm going to go with six. Okay, six. It okay. doesn't have depth, intellectual depth. It doesn't have intellectual depth. Yeah. I think it communicates that, but um, could it have done more so? Like, to avoid? It's basically what... what I actually, I don't know if it's a void because it's like a black square. There's mm-hmm. like a difference between the two, right? Mm. One is like a shape, a geometric shape, um, um, because he was trying to... What, what is that? I hear it too. You hear it? Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Technical a, difficulties. That's okay. a sound effect. So, that's a like, ghost of Malevich yeah. <laughs> interfering with it. So I think in some way he was like, okay, so I'm trying to get rid of painting. I'm trying to 
all the, the weight but the of, square is just like it's a frame but exactly. also it's very like it's the time where you know you see more uh, rather than fluid forms more of a no. cutting you know like think of abstract art or anything else that, that just becomes more geometrical designs I think yeah I think when we touch it that's when it was yours I think it was mine <laughs> yeah I think it's as, well maybe it's the power four okay we should have we'll be careful with that <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. but like why didn't he paint the whole painting black instead of just a black square I suppose like a black square is like a black painting because the painting has to fit in the frame mm -hmm. so that's why he's calling a painting as a black square yeah but wouldn't if you wanted wall. to communicate like the darkness of the time wouldn't if you had painted the whole the whole the whole, the whole, the the whole, whole painting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you had painted the whole room that even more powerful <laughs> well, and the true. other thing okay so he decided to place it in a traditional iconic russian um frame no like uh <coughs> where the the most holiest of objects i didn't touch anything that time um so where they put kind of like the icons the, um, the corner yeah usually yeah. the the russian orthodox icons they 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 sit in a corner high up so that's where you pray exactly. or like where you it reminds you of the presence of god so he's kind of putting it up elevating it up to that standard or you know mm. that place <laughs> it's, a, is not it's a ghost <laughs> of my <Mother Lichka. laughs> okay, uh, sorry about that guys uh, <laughs> we just have to move past it i guess but yeah. so yeah i don't know how he i mean so going back to the communication thing i don't know what he's trying to say like elevate this thing that he thought of to the highest order so he's saying like uh, perhaps he's just saying there there is nothing else to worship because yeah. at the time there's just like uh freud you know freud theories Mar you know yeah. marx and Engels, all of this <clears throat> things that kind of basically saying there's no god you know we we kind of eliminate the the beliefs um out of human society so it's science and there is no place for god we know a lot about biology about <clears throat> you know uh, what surrounds us about our planet so there is no room for spirituality so i think that that was what he was hinting at but in a way to me it communicates just the darkness you know that there's, there's mm -hmm. nothing else in this world basically saying all, all is darkness yes yeah you know what i'm gonna give it a nine <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. <Wow. laughs> I didn't expect that. Well, I mean, it, yeah. it, that was his intention to communicate this. Um, then I think, yeah, he did it well. I think the placing, that's actually what did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he had, um, yeah, if it's just the painting itself, it's too simple. Well, so. it's back to like the, the shadow and the subconscious um, and bringing consciousness to the shadow so we can. Normally, we're not, um, the two never meet. They rise up from the subconscious so we can, you know, try to put words to it with our intellectual minds, but sometimes they, um, there is little. But I also feel to prior it. to that, that there weren't really much painting that looked into the dark side. Does it make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no. I understand that now. <laughs> 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 but you know there wasn't yeah. painting to aspire to elevate but it wasn't the painting to kind of go inwards and downwards yeah. th as such well in a lot of <clears throat> mythology too you have the higher realm of the intellect and the underworld of the subconscious so you always have a hero's journey which will go from one plane to the next plane and that will cause like um a healing between the two mm -hmm. but it's not until we address the shadow that we can even um, attempt to do that we can know we can't just remain in the higher planes and you know look at beautiful um landscapes of uh santa barbara or something and not want to see the shadow it's like to be a healthy individual there has to be a, a interaction and a relationship to both so after the black square, he painted the white square. Exactly. So he, <laughs> <laughs> he recovered. Well, uh, a hero's journey often, um, a big aspect is the return. Because mm -hmm. as you delve into the underworld and you do what's necessary to, say, uh, get the water of life from the queen of the underworld because the king of the upper realm is sick. Mm -hmm. So you have to return 
and bring that. And there's always bring uh, a black square with you. <laughs> a black square, <laughs> or uh, you know, and yeah. then the two, um, you know, as something's you know above as below. You know, it's like if something in the upper realm of men where a war is going on, and you go into the underworld and return, it's like you're kind of um, exploring that aspect where most people oh, I find are probably very intimidated by that of looking into that and coming coming back because usually you leave a little bit of yourself there so it's like or you gain a little something you do gain yes, a lot yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are, we, what are we saying what are we giving this you so was it nine, nine I eight, eight, eight six. six oh I think I'll have to settle in on uh, eight oh okay <laughs> so. It's eight very is rough mathematics. It's, it's a good number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, intellectual property. Oh, intellectual property. Ooh, that's I'm what gonna, we've been talking this whole time. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm just going to bleed the segue of like what I just said to you and give it a nine. A nine? Ooh, yeah, your go. scores are going higher and higher. On this one. Yeah, yeah. On this, yeah, um, yeah I would say a good nine. Community. Uh, it was a very thoughtful act on his part. Like his whole thing is basically deconstruct a painting and then let's all just think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's sit down and talk about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was right. So, uh, nine. <clears throat> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. No, 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 yeah, I kind of, yeah. But the other ones, yeah. like innovation for me wasn't like quite a... Yeah. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna go above six. Okay, six go back to nine. six. I'm six gonna nine. go six. So, so that you know, means we got threes and threes and threes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's neat. Yeah. 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 Because you said nine, right? Yeah, I said nine. Okay. Nine and then one six. All right. We'll, That's give like, it, all right. we'll give him an eight. Eight. Like, How do you okay. feel about that, though? <laughs> 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 Which leads us next into the the emotional property and emotional Ooh. impact. <clears throat> I can score high on that. How do you Ooh. feel? <laughs> How do we feel about this painting? I feel dark. <laughs> Darkness, everyone. Darkness. I feel yeah, black. All this thinking, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's really interesting too with just uh, what a piece creates as like uh, a question and there's no answer. So it's like I can see a black square being up on the wall where it's positioned and a lot of questions from people. Like I have a lot of questions already i'm like why black square why why well, is that the back art, but, is he, he just deconstructing painting basically yeah but the that's that's the that's what i look for when i see a piece of artwork on like any wall any opening i go to is like what's the question am i like curious about this object and that that can evoke uh, a certain titillation <laughs> <laughs> excitement and emotional mm. um connection to it we should have one one other um another point for recognizability is there word recognizability because everyone like if you say oh this painting is black square like everyone will see it in their mm-hmm. heads do you like, know what i mean so it's like a bar thing it's like do i know you yeah <laughs> I swear I've seen you before. <laughs> I think that goes Black in like square. intellectual property, intellectual or? property, or uh, okay. also you know the, um, no, um, communication, like less stability historically. Okay. So emotion here. It's emotion, emotion. How do you feel? <laughs> Black. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, Black. Hey. clearly, I feel very well uh, today. Yeah, the Bob Dylan lyric. Very God The Bob Dylan lyric is "None is the number when black is the color." <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and I give it a ten. 10 oh, wow. wow emotionally damn no oh, man I, it's very primal you know it's like a primo is a promo deal what's the right word yeah. like it's very intense dark yeah i don't know it's kind of like um for me at least this is um if i saw something and he you know regarded as the holiest and it's kind of like deconstructing painting which i value you know, it kind of like angers me a little bit. But it's still, it's emotional. <laughs> it is emotional. I know. I'm saying, you're just like, you started like, this. Like, how do you feel? <laughs> angry. Angry. I'm extremely <laughs> angry. Angers me. How do you guys feel about this painting? <laughs> this black square. It just <laughs> so it has an emotional reaction, right? But um, I don't know. Um, 
anything can have an emotional reaction. I guess. Mm, that's that? not true. Vanilla uh, ice cream doesn't get it, any emotional <laughs> ice cream. No, but that's, like, that's the thing. Is like, if something is not interesting, think about it for two minutes. If it's still not interesting, think about it for four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Find something interesting. Yeah, if yeah. you keep thinking about something, <laughs> eventually you're going <laughs> to... You have a very disciplined mind. Yeah, yeah. So, That's a good point. <laughs> um, I don't know. Give it a, like a seven or something. Emotionally. Okay. Emotional? Yeah. Because, I don't I'll, know. I'll, I'll, I'll go with an eight. So eight. you give it a 10, an 8, and a 7. Okay. I suppose we'll have to go with an 8 or 9. <laughs> <laughs> I know what was making noise. I think it's our phones. Because I was yeah. getting text messages, and that's what I think that was producing. All right. Well, we solved that. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, on, on air. That's awesome. On air. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Next on, livability. livability. Would you live with that in Would your... I, it's a big pain to remember, right? Fair size. Substantial. It's like a meter. So that's yeah. Like a so it's 79 centimeters. So yeah, coming up to a meter. What is that in inches for our American viewers? Uh, we'll let you 30? figure this out. Is it 30 inches? 30, so it's like a 32 maybe, like that. Like that. that this is the actual square. That's a big painting. Medium size, I guess. Yeah. What's so big for you? Like yeah. Monumental. I got like. some wingspan, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a pizza box. <laughs> Are we giving a score or just zero or one? Uh, just zero to one. Can you live with oh, it? Oh, yes could I no? live with it? Yeah. Oh, I'd give it a one. I could live with that. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to live <laughs> with a void yeah. <laughs> in my yeah. living room. I, I, no. You don't want to jump through it? And like no. Swim into the depths? Maybe in some days. <laughs> some days? Exactly. <laughs> like, I could live with a sweet, dark painting, but... That, that's just too, too simple you know there's so much other cool stuff out there that's like, what i'm saying it's just like you know you look at it and then you walk past it but you couldn't like find something to engage or like keep looking at it it's just like it's it's a statement which mm -hmm. is yeah. fair it's a statement yeah no. but doesn't give doesn't have a i can't build a connection to that yeah i can't deal with that yeah so what wah, is it? Wah, wah. <laughs> it looks like uh, no it's one's taking zero. no one's taking this painting home. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, maybe we could do like a, this could be like a three thing, you know? We're like, and I can do a copy for you for free. So maybe we just give it a one because you can live with it. So maybe you we'll can, do this like. Here oh, you go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll cherish this there black hair. <laughs> <laughs> you treasure what do you always. Think? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, so, a one of us can live with it, so we'll give it a one. Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> See, my phone. My what phone about point five? No. That's not half bad. <laughs> we might need to move that phone. Maybe yeah. Can you, can you can you move it out away somewhere? Not on the floor. You're a good detective, Julia. Uh, I hear it though. That's the second <laughs> mystery you solved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now is your phone's gonna start making. <laughs> no. Okay. Commercial success. Oh. I don't know much about that. I have yeah. to say, I thought, I thought it was uh, it sold right, and then he did another one. Well, he, some somebody went. owns it now, or all four four versions of it. I saw one version in Moscow, I think. Can't remember exactly where, but um, what what would are we using like during the lifetime of the artist or post? I think it was yeah during the lifetime like of the artist. Basically, yeah, I don't know what it, it went for during his lifetime, but I'm sure. Sh shall we make bids? I'm sure. And, uh, and then and then we update our viewers as to what what was actually what well, actually just achieved. Historically speaking, I know that when a lot of artists have done new works, branching and stepping away from what they're known for, people don't touch them. Like I, I'm thinking, like Philip Caston or like. A, Van Gogh, it's like when you're avant-garde on the times and you're, sometimes it's just like, you're, yep. un, you're untouchable. People are like, meh. Okay, well, you know, guys, yeah. we're kind of running Yo, out of time. Man. We're going on 30 minutes, so mm, so we'll just leave it blank. That's kind of more of a, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Right, right now, I'm sure, I'm like sure it's some, very expensive now. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. <laughs> well, like, to some artists value, like, selling their work, like, artists, you know, maybe not as much. It's like, so it depends, like, 
Uh, it was or maybe it was successful. very successful because he made four copies of it. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. sold one and then sold another one and sold well, the other. Good. Well, you know, they so, take a long time to do too. You know, so I know. Like so was he? <laughs> <laughs> what is the concern? I'm going to say the commercial we don't success. Know. We don't know. We don't know. But <laughs> okay. I'm going to probably say historically that no. at the times, no. You know, I don't. Yeah. Think but now, yes. Now we're looking at it. It caused like different movements, like. Uh, and um, prompted um, those uh, movements. So I'd say in that sense, it, it was uh, a good uh, springboard. But I don't, for the times, I don't think it was a commercial success. So On that happy note. <laughs> okay, so enjoy total, the black. <laughs> None is the number when <clears> black <throat> is the number. Okay, that's so what's um, the total? It's a big three, five. Bake three five. Thirty five. <laughs> well, this is uh, our conclusion <laughs> to yeah, the this Black is Square. Our review to the Black Square. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, feel free to leave comments. Uh, tell us what you think about the black painting. Uh, uh, sure oh, you if you know how much it sold for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> hit and subscribe. Yeah. yeah hit and subscribe. <laughs> All, right, All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>